This is TJ. In this video, I'm going to quickly be covering five programs that are great tools for graphic design and digital art creation. These programs are Inkscape, GIMP, Scribus, FontForge, and Daya. And each of these programs is completely free to download and use for both personal and commercial use. Um, they are all open source software, and all of them work on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux operating systems. If you want to download these and try them out for yourself, you can find download links at my website, tjfree.com. Let's take a look at this first program, Inkscape, which is a program very similar to Adobe Illustrator. So it'll let you draw um, and edit art in uh, that are that's vector images, and so it gives you a lot of control over those vector images. Um, you can uh, you can actually with vector images, if you're not familiar with them, they can be scaled up to large sizes without becoming pixelated, um, and uh, you can do all kinds of really cool stuff with this program. I'll show you an example of some art. Oop, this is the art of some art that can be created uh, using uh, uh, Inkscape. Um, here's an example of a guitar. And, we, and once it's all drawn up, we can quick, quickly change the coloring. Um, and that keeps the lighting and shading. Another example is of working with layers in Inkscape. We have these different layers of this tooth animation. And we can toggle them on and off. We can lock them or unlock them so that we don't accidentally select them while we're working with a different layer. So it's a great tool. Lots and lots of good features and tons of different applications. This next program, GIMP, is a bitmap image editor. It's similar to Adobe Photoshop and it has a, a lot of the same functionality that you'd expect to have with uh, in Photoshop. Um, it can do some pretty cool stuff. I've covered it in some of my other programs so I'm not going to spend too much time on it but you can apply different um, effects and layers and filters and things like that. I won't do one because it might take too long on the video, but it's a good program. Um, you can also just create art from scratch. Oh, I'll show you here too. You can work with transparent backgrounds, which is cool. You can remove the background, like if you want to create a product, uh, product image, and then you can then um, just fill the background with a solid color. So, good program, um, GIMP. This next one, Scribus, is similar to Adobe InDesign or Cork Express. It's a desktop publishing tool, um, and you can use it to create books, calendars, business cards, anything that has printed text, basically. And it gives you a lot of manipulation over that text. So we can come here. Uh, let's go to this one here. Da -da -da. Cats in the Cradle. That picture, that one of my images isn't coming up, but if I go to uh, Edit Text, we can see um, it lets you have a you can have different style sheets. So we have a, mm, oh, yeah, this is centered, but so the title has its own style, the, um, the author has its own style, and then if we change, I can then change the style and it'll change it on every page. You can, so you can collectively edit the footers and the styles of multiple pages at once without having to go through and physically change it on each page. Um, just you, one of the many features, you can do drop caps, um, it's great for creating, like I said, anything with printed text. This next one, FontForge, Forge, is a program for editing and creating fonts. So, for example, here we have, I'll grab the toolbar over here, um, the letter R. We can edit this font and do some different kind of things with it. Um, you can also create fonts from scratch. It's uh, compatible with several different font formats, and you can actually use it to convert fonts from one format to another. Um, so it's a good tool, FontForge. Um, this last program, Daya, is a program for creating flowcharts and diagrams. For example, we can just very quickly um, sketch up a diagram and then link ideas together. And it gives you a lot of control and manipulation over how this diagram works. And you can put text, um, we, can, we could write text inside this this box if we wanted to. So it's great for expressing ideas, but also if you're a designer or into architecture or things like that, it's got all kinds of different um, presets, like here's electrical. So if we want to put in some electrical symbols and create an electrical diagram, we can do that. We can import a background image and draw the these elements on top of it. And you can create your own your own symbols too, but it's got a lot of different um, um, a lot of different uh, thing you've got Cisco networking. You could do a, a Cisco network um, diagram. So good for network network diagrams. Make these bigger and see what I'm doing here. So cool program. Um, lots of different features and and applications for it as well. 
And really quickly before we go, I want to show you this program, GPIC. It's a Windows and Linux only program, I, I think, um, and it's, but it's also open source. And it's a color picker or a, a, a scheme gen, color scheme generator. Um, it'll help you when you're creating art, help you find complementary colors. When you find them, you can just double click them and it'll put them over here in this color lineup that you can then export and use with programs like GIMP and uh, all, well, all these ones I've showed you today I think are compatible with these different palettes. Um, you can also use them to, you can drag and drop. It's not letting me do it because of the screen, I'm doing a screencast right now, but you can um, come over here and actually apply these colors to a sample web page or a sample menu and figure out, you know, which colors are going to be best for that. So it's a, a color picker and scheme generation tool. And that's, again, that's GPIC. Well, these are the programs I wanted to share with you today. Appreciate you watching. Um, if you're interested, I'd like you to check out some of my other videos where I do um, some web design tools. I also have 2D and 3D animation tools. So check out my other videos. Go ahead and comment and subscribe if you'd like to. And I uh, hope you have a wonderful day.